Hello, so today I have a Goodwill Outlet bins haul to share with you guys. So these are things I'm gonna be reselling on Poshmark and eBay. And I paid $1.89 a pound today. I spent $45 on this big Ikea bag full of stuff. And it's basically just bread and butter pieces. And if you don't know what bread and butter pieces are, it's just like, you know, American Eagle, just, you know, mall brands, things that have lower resale values, but typically sell pretty quickly. Um, those, you know, 10, 12, $15 sells add up quickly. So I fill my closet with them. Um, anyway, the first thing I got were these seven for all mankind. These are dojos. I always look for the seven on the back. The only flaw I saw with these is some of these little white little pieces are missing, but I don't, I don't think anybody really care too much. I don't know. They might, but I'll just put it in the description. Um, these are their best selling jeans in my opinion by seven for all mankind. Uh, the last ones I sold sold between 40 and 65 bucks. These are Lauren Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren, size 10. They, I thought they were new tag. Oh, they are. They have tags on them. Um, they were $27.25 when they were purchased, and they were $109. They're just white jeans. I don't think people will be wearing white jeans right now, but they had this, like, southwestern beading down the side. I thought it was pretty cool, so I decided, what the heck, I'll try those out. Uh, White House Flight Market is another brand I consider uh, bread and butter and their jackets can sell, you know, in the 30s. I'll probably list this, you know, along with whatever the others like this are listed, probably 25-ish. <clears throat> I got this. This is a Bonnaroo um, tie-dye, a Bonnaroo like a festival t-shirt. And it's got Eminem, The Killers, Muse, Bass Nectar, Future... I mean, all these bands on the back of it. So I decided why not try it out. If I can't sell it, my daughter will take it. Um, this is a Simply Southern. And it's a, like a, I don't know what you call it, fleece, teddy jacket. I don't know. I thought it was cute. It's got like the Southwestern Aztec uh, theme on it. At first I thought it was turtles. In fact, is it turtles? It looks like turtles too. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try that out. I've never sold a jacket by simply southern i see a lot of their t-shirts which my daughter loves anyway next is a belks brand it's new a tag i try to pick up as many new a tag items as i can find especially near christmas because people like to give gifts and if it's you know new a tag then they'll buy it um this retail for 68 this is just a cute little dress that's all it is and i think i'm about to have to switch over to the next video so i'll be right back um, the next piece that I grabbed was this American Eagle jacket. That's American Eagle, and it's just a, like a khaki, it's a khaki color, beige color jacket, hoodie. Um, it's a men's jacket. This is Toby. I could probably sell this for about 15 bucks. It's got like a three quarter sleeve, scalloped hem. So this is vintage Lily Pulitzer shorts. These are size 14s. I don't know in what land these are size 14, um, but these are not size 14 in my land. Um, I don't know, I guess they are high-waisted. But anyway, so they're just this floral print vintage short. Um, I may hold on to these until spring. I'll still, I'll list them, but I won't be taking like low ball offers or anything because it's out of season, so yeah. This is another vintage piece. This is by Viv Viva Vivaldi Jeanswear, and it's just a striped denim uh, vest. Some people wear these as shirts. This is Wimbledon. Um, it's just like a little tennis hat, and it says the championships Wimbledon. This is a Brandy Melville jacket or like a corduroy coat. Um, I thought it was interesting. I'm not sure how much they'll go for because Brandy Melville does not have like a high resale value, but some pieces do better than others. I didn't comp anything, by the way. I never comp bread and butter pieces. Sometimes I get really lucky by grabbing certain pieces like this right here. Um, I'm, I knew the brand and I saw the style. I do need to sweater shave this, but this is Moth which is an anthropology brand. And I think this is, okay, it is 100% wool. And it's this jacket, right? It's long. 
I just, I was like, this is going to sell for a decent amount. I could probably get like 50 bucks from, you know, for this. I don't know. I looked for holes because, you know, usually you'll find holes. No holes. Um, I do want to wash it, but I don't know if I can wash it. So I might have to take it to the dry cleaners if the resale value is high enough. But it's really cute. It is tiny, though. It's like a, a smaller, extra small. The next thing I found was this. Do you know what brand that is? So it says J. Galt. John Galt. Oh, it's got like a tiger on the back. I don't know if this is worth money, but why not pick it up for $1.89 a pound, you know? Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, so I grabbed these Pack Sun shorts. These are the high rise short, size 23 waist, itty bitty, tiny. Um, these are blank NYC, another pair of itty bitty cut off shorts. Typically shorts like those, I throw up for like 15 bucks. I throw up, I list for 15 bucks on Poshmark. Um, and they usually sell for between 10 and 12 bucks. Um, American Eagle, black cut off skirt. Another one, bread and butter piece that'll sell for like 10 to 12 bucks. This is a North Face uh, dress. It does need to be washed. It's got some staining. Um, I pick up flawed items because they do well. Um, you just have to get the flaw out. And usually it's very easy. It's like stain treating or sewing something in place. Uh, I've taken things to the seamstress for five bucks and made a nice profit because I got it fixed. So I never pass up the flawed stuff. Unless it's like beyond repair. You know what I mean? So this is Lulu's. Um, this is just like a little, a cute little crop sweater by Lulu's. I like to get their evening gown dresses. They do best when it comes to price. Um, this probably 12, 15 bucks. Won't be a lot. Some people don't think it's worth picking up items that are going to sell for that little, but when you're paying a dollar for it, it's, it's worth it. I promise you it's worth it. Um, this is by a brand called Goose and I don't know anything about it. But I thought it was cool looking. It's got goose on it. It's just like a tie-dye pastel hoodie. And it's pretty large too. It's like a size is extra large. It's a large. I think it's a men's large though because it's it's definitely an extra large on a woman. So I grabbed two pairs of J. Jill jeans because they're the exact same size. They're 16 petites and I think that's the size that or it's probably harder to find. Um, so I'm going to sell these in a lot together since they are the same size, same style jeans. And I don't have good luck selling J. Jill at all. Usually it just sits for me. Um, so we'll see how that works. I did get a J. Jill dress. It's got to be washed. It's got armpit deodorant stains. But J. Jill is just a black um, mini dress. Then I grabbed this little girl's vintage Lily Pulitzer elephant dress. Usually they have a matching dress that matches the mom. That's that. All right, this is Tahari, and this is a size 1X. Um, it's just in really good shape. That's why I picked it up. It's a black, uh, like a knit tunic sweater. This is a brand that, it reminds me of Frank and Eileen, which is, they have decent comps. This one is Anna and Frank, or Anna, Anna and Frank. And I'm pretty sure the comps for this brand are just as good as Frank and Eileen. Uh, this is a silk shirt, it's green, button front. Um, it, it needs to be steamed, obviously. Um, but besides that, great condition. And we will see how that does. And then the very last piece was this, um, Zessica, which is nothing special that I know of. That's the brand, but it's just like a little wrap dress, but it's a maxi dress, floral. I like the micro floral stuff, and I think a lot of people do like that as well. So, got that to try out. But yeah, so that was everything that I got from the Goodwill Outlet today. Um, I can't go tomorrow. I have an appointment tomorrow, and I'm going to end up out of town. So, yeah, um... I don't know. I, I think I'll do pretty well. Like I said, I spent 45 bucks on that stuff. Hopefully just the dojo jeans will give me all of my money back and then everything else will just be straight profit. Um, that's how I like to do things. So 
Um, but yeah, bread and butter. I live off of bread and butter. That is like my favorite thing to pick up, especially at the Goodwill outlet. I don't like to buy bread and butter pieces at the, um, the retail side of Goodwill. For example, this stuff right here I got from the retail side and I'll just show you these real quick. I don't consider Rebecca Taylor bread and butter. I, I consider Rebecca Taylor to be like a nicer brand. Um, so this is the label and it's a, it's a strapless dress, right? I know I could probably get about $30 for this. More than likely, it's in excellent condition. I believe it is silk as well. Um, but this is not considered bread and butter in my eyes. Rebecca Taylor is not bread and butter. But I got Torrid. Torrid, in a, in a way, Torrid is bread and butter because there's so much of it now. Um, I bought this Torrid dress. And, you know, dresses by Torrid, some do really, really well. This one will probably sell for about 25-ish. And I would consider that bread and butter. I might keep that though. <laughs> And then this is another one I don't consider bread and butter. This is fresh produce. I grab fresh produce anytime I see it, especially if it's a dress. Um, but this one is a maxi dress and I just sold a blue one identical to this, except for it was shorter for 40 bucks. I know I could probably get about 60 bucks for this dress. So anything that I can sell for over 25 is typically not bread and butter in my eyes. So anyway, I'm gonna go and quit rambling. Have a great day, bye.